the moment you think about taking any exam that's the moment when you start reading and observing the hints very carefully that are often in front of you learning anything with the right strategy can lead you to crack a lot of exams easily and it will also save a lot of your time hello techies i am your computer guy and i have cleared ccp certified cloud practitioner in the first attempt you might will see a lot of videos related to cracking this examination in a day or like 3 days with a lot of hui but cracking an examination in first attempt with good knowledge will make you go in a longer run total exam score of ccp is 1000 marks out of which i have scored 853 minimum scale required to pass this examination is 700 in this video i'll show you a complete road map on how i have cleared this examination and did the prep for it So first and foremost like any other beginner I landed on this page of cloud where you may see all the details of CCP something that you should notice here is who should take this examination they recommend 6 months of experience which really gave me a thought if i'm really good enough to clear this examination but then i took some good courses from hitesh sir and i read complete course of learn code online which gave me a good experience to move my hands around on aws console then comes the next point that you should have the basic understanding of it services and their uses in the aws cloud platform for which i again felt qualified after i took some practical experience now here comes the most important part read these modules of aws very carefully that is aws service use cases billing part and pricing module is super important for practitioner and also you should know that how cloud impacts your business This is the biggest hint that you can take in order to clear this examination. This also brings me to today's question and yes, we are increasing a little bit of difficulty here. So the question is, where can a user find information about prohibited action on the AWS infrastructure? Is it AWS Trusted Advisor or AWS uh, IAM that is also called as Access Management or it is AWS Billing Console or is it AWS Acceptable Use Policy? Let me know in comment section and I'll reply you if your answer is right. from what i have observed from the questions as a cloud practitioner that they want to prepare you to answer the queries obtained by sales and management to help inform vps and ceos to utilize aws which is why it focuses more on billing and business centric concepts if we talk about the credibility of ccp then it is not an important examination for developers but this is the entry point so consider not skipping it It will definitely make your resume look great. Though I have also cleared architect and DevOps professional exam, about which we'll be talking in upcoming videos. I also took the help of Andrew Brown as well as I was watching the free videos of Free Code Camp. But then I realized that I need to add on a lot more to learning than just a free course. You know, just a free course won't help here. Then, as per the module, I started wandering on the internet and made a question bank of around 650 questions and tried solving them. right after completing any topic or video lecture as per they have defined on ccp aws page because watching lectures plus solving questions will make you uh, the exam ready and that's the right approach to learn so this was a starting brush up uh, that i can stand up to the standards and can understand things better then you can try for free digital training that are listed on ccp aws page and most important part this is very important aws white papers they will help you a lot in giving you a holistic approach of clearing examinations and also a quick note question bank that i have prepared is different from white paper showing up for mock examination is the key because it was a 65 question mcq exam where in some questions you will have to choose more than one right answer or in some cases more than one answer will be right but you will have to choose the most suitable one so this was my preparation guide now let's talk about experience while giving examination i took this examination via pearson view and it was a proctored exam so even after 5 years of experience in infosec i was a bit scared i showed up in the examination like 30 minutes prior so that i can do the check in where proctor will verify your id and they will ask you to click the picture of desk from all the four directions it is instructed that no second screen and headphones are allowed so they will then check your desk thoroughly uh via webcam or something strange that happened in my case that they even asked me to put the air conditioner remote aside so you need to have an isolated room with no extra screens laptops or systems in that space they will even check your ears in this era of airport 
Once you are done with the check, then Proctor will activate your question paper in which Pearson view will take over your screen completely. You cannot read the questions loud. You cannot even do the exactly lip sync like that else the proctor will show up in between and a warning they'll give a warning to you you're not allowed to look right or left you need to keep your head straight to the screen you can be in a trouble if you can uh, do such things so consider not using any proxy for cheating this exam anyway i started completing the questions and there is an option of put a flag on a question so that you can review them later you can change the question with next or previous buttons so you can ease up you can uh, choose the question and the right answer whenever you want in practitioner you will get 90 minutes to complete the examinations and if you pass this examination then within 24 hours your batch will be generated via credly and your certification uh, will be reflected in aws dashboard along with your examination report also, we have introduced an amazing DevOps course that you must watch because it is one of the most lengthiest curriculum that you can ever witness because we have taken everything from scratch right from the installation of Linux. You may check out the link in my pinned comment for the additional discount. Yes, this course also includes the question bank that I have made uh, while, you know, clearing a lot of uh, certifications like DevOps and Cloud Architect. So we have crossed more than 50 thumbs up yesterday. So today we are aiming for 60 thumbs up and then I'll post the next video. So good luck for the preparation of your exam and I'll see you again with another amazing video. But that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's